Hey everyone, it's Michelle. Welcome back to another video. Today I have a huge collective haul of some beauty products as well as summer accessories and some miscellaneous stuff that I happened to pick up along the way. So let's go ahead and get started. I was on Yestop because I was low on sunscreen and since we're heading into warmer season, I cannot do without sunscreen. I think it's so important. Okay, so first off, I have this Hydro Sun Fluid from Village 11 Factory. It's very cute in packaging. What really caught my attention was the pump because usually other sunscreen that you apply for your face comes in a packaging where you would squeeze it out instead. So I definitely prefer having a pump over squeezing products out. It's just my preference. But I really like the texture of the sunscreen. It's in a gel to liquidy format. So a lot of other sunscreen that I've used usually are in a cream format and they're a tad bit heavy. Next up, I came across these lip tint from Lily Mage. Again, another brand that I haven't heard of. When I saw their lip tint, I was really excited because it's finally a lip tint that gives you a gloss. And so um, I really held myself back. Initially, I wanted to try five shades of their lip tint, but I thought, you know, I would just try three shades first just in case I don't end up loving it. So I got the shade Spicy Caramel Red, Nudie Tinder Love, and the shade Grapefruit Mix Orange. Just some really nice shades. So I was also shopping on Rose Rose Shop for sunscreen, and I know I just showed you one, but one wasn't enough, and the one that I wanted was not available on Yes Styles. So I was off to Rose Rose, which is another Korean online beauty shop, and I picked up this sunscreen from Farmstay. It's the Green Tea Seed Moisture Sun Cream. It has 70 milliliter, which is a 20 milliliter difference from the usual 50 milliliter that I come across which is another reason why I picked this up because there's more product and I tend to be very generous with sunscreen. My sister actually has the sunscreen and I tried it out once and I loved how it feels on my skin. It's very lightweight and it's not sticky as well as there's no white cast so that's all what I needed in a sunscreen. I needed a lot of sunscreen and a product that will leave my skin not feeling sticky and just really nasty feeling. All right, moving on, I picked up two blushes from the brand Apu, and I think I might be saying the name wrong, but um, these are the Juicy Pink Blusher. And the packaging is very cute. I think with Korean brand is they just nail in the packaging department. These blushes are actually in a nail polish form, but it's actually for your cheeks instead. So I got these two shades in PK04, which I'm assuming is pink number four. And then this next one right here is the CR02, which is a more coral to orange um, undertone. All right, and then I have a few lip products from Rose Rose. And this one right here is from Hera. It's the Sensual Spicy Nude Balm in the color, what's the color? Moody, 279 Moody. This is a tinted lip balm and packaging is just so pretty. This one right here is a nice, it has a brown undertone and it's a tinted lip balm. And I wish I could have picked up the um, actual lipstick, but the color that I wanted sold out. So I settled for this tinted lip balm. It has like this spicy, almost tingly feeling when you apply them on your lip, but this is a really pretty shade for your everyday you know, go-to makeup. So I got two lip gloss, which surprisingly I do not own any lip gloss. One is just your typical white gloss that you can apply over your lipstick. And then I have this shade right here, which is a coral peachy shade. It just gives you a light tint of gloss over your lips. All right, and then this last lip product is actually a freebie. I'm assuming they just misplaced this into my order or they are giving me this lip tip for free. Um, I didn't order this, but Hey, you know, I will gladly accept this. It's a tinted lip balm from The Sam and it's just in a very nice coral peachy shade. I like how you can twist the cap on and off instead of just snapping it on because once you throw them around your purse, the lid can come off. And the last beauty product I have to share with you guys is this very orangey blush from The Sam. For the longest time ever, I have been wanting to try a blush that's in an orange or even yellow shade and I think it looks very cute especially for summer draw on some freckles if you don't have any I think that would be such a cute look 
And lastly, I have a body product to share with you guys, which is this perfume that I purchased off of 0 0.8 liter from Fedora. If you don't know what 0 0.8 liter is, basically they are a Korean website. You apply for free products. If you get chosen, then you would try the product out and leave a review. They do have this really nice feature where you only pay $3.99 to test out a product. So in that case, I only spent $3.99 for this perfume, which is definitely not $4 just to sum it up. On to accessories, I found some jewelries on YesStyle and I know you normally wouldn't go to YesStyle to buy jewelries, but I did come across some sterling silver items. My skin is sensitive to certain materials so it would react and I would just itch like crazy, especially when it comes to earrings. If I wear something that is not the real deal, it would itch and I will have a reaction. So I saw some sterling silvers which Surprisingly, I do do well with sterling silver. First item I have right here is this chain link earring that I have worn the whole entire time sitting here and my ear has not itched at all, so that's a good sign. Um, it's really cute, it's not super big and I like how it just gives a subtle hint to your outfit. It's gold and it's not too dramatic. The next pair of earrings I have is this very dainty gold hoop. It's very thin. It's um, 1.5 centimeter and I believe this comes in three different hoop sizes so I got the smallest sizes this really brings back memory when I was a little girl my mom would always give me these little hoop earring because they stay on and I don't react to them so when I saw this pair of earrings I was super excited because I was on the hunt for something that's very dainty wearable for every day goes with every single outfit and I saw this and I was like, this was the pair of earrings. And then I also got another pair of hoop earrings. This one is in a different style. It has this sort of like wavy texture to it and it has a backing so this doesn't close all the way like the other pair of hoop earrings where it fully closes into a circle. This one um, has backing so it's a lot easier to wear. Next, I got a necklace or a chain necklace Initially, I thought it was going to be a lot bigger. When it came, it was a super skinny, dainty strap of gold chain that will just break off if you were to use too much force on it. And um, I was deceived by the picture because it was blown up and I thought it would be bigger than it is. I got this necklace for the purpose of layering. I wanted something that would be plain that I can layer other necklaces on top. At the time I placed this order, YesStyle was having a promotion. If you spend $59 or over, you get free express delivery and usually this would be $100 and over. Um, I'm not sure if it's still ongoing, but from what I last checked, they are still having this promotion. And I think it's only for a limited amount of time. So I picked up this little Barrett how you say it this little hair clip that was only a dollar a dollar or two dollars to get me over 58 dollars okay and then i got two pair of sunglasses these are just your typical cat eye sunglasses that you see every other influencer wear on instagram i've actually saw these a few times already from my other two styling videos if you haven't seen it um but yeah they just make your summer outfit look really great and just gets me in the vibe for summer really cute and they're just great accessory to sort of add up and jazz up your look. So I got these in a black and a white, which I don't think it's that necessary, but I like to have them in different color. Okay, and lastly from YesStyle, I got this giant here scrunchie. I have been into scrunchie lately. I'm actually wearing one right here, and I've resorted to stealing my niece's scrunchie because they're super comfortable to wear, and I think they're just so cute. So I got this big one in this sort of champagne neutral color. I think this will look very elegant on your hair. I have some hair accessories that were handmade, gifted to me from my older sister who lives in North Carolina. She actually handmade these using some of our um, traditional garments embroideries to create these pieces so I have this bow with our little Hong embroideries as the design and print and I just love how it just adds a touch of heritage and culture to your outfit um, it's really cute I chose this pink one because I like how big it is and I think the print just really pops my sister worked really hard on these and if you are watching this big sister thank you so much I know you put a lot of effort and um, she had really called at least almost every other day to ask um, all the girls in the family which design they liked it and what print we wanted and she stayed up 
so many nights just to make these and get them shipped out to the girls in the family. Moving on, I got two of these little produce grocery bags from Ikea. They were two for six bucks. They're nothing new, um, but I just thought they were a great piece to have for summer. I mean, it's very aesthetic and also you can use them for you know your grocery or if you're going to farmer's market they're good for many things and then plus i it just looks cute with your outfit okay, we're almost done i have two last accessories to share with you guys first item is this straw hat right here that i got off of asos this was during memorial weekend so they were doing 25 percent off the entire store and these straw hats were by no means expensive off of asos but with the 25 percent off i saved even more so i got this one with the frayed hem and these straps right here to sort of keep everything together and if it was a windy day your hat is guaranteed not to fly off um, but i don't own any in this frayed hem so i thought this one was really cute and another one to my small collection of straw hats the second hat i got is this one right here it has a wider brim and it curves down instead of straight across horizontally like a boater or a fedora hat will have which i already own one in that style so i went for this one i just think it's so cute and we have this ribbon again um, on the back so i didn't buy too many clothing pieces for over the last two months because all the retail stores were closed and the only places that you can actually shop in person for clothes were either walmart or target so i was at walmart and i was just passing by a bunch of clearance stuff and i picked up um, just a few essential basic pieces, um, which is some t-shirts and white tanks for summer. I grabbed two white tanks. These are just great pieces to have for summer and they're also quite trendy at the moment. So they pair really nice with a bunch of stuff. Um, the next two pieces are actually just white t-shirt. I can never keep my white clothes clean and stain free so i frequently have to stock up and replace my white t-shirt so i just grab a basic white cotton one these were just the t-shirt where walmart has and i think at the moment everyone is doing diy t-shirt doing tie-dye t-shirt the second one i have has this font quote on here it says it's cool to be kind in this orange font i really like the quote and i really like the saying on this t-shirt that's it for clothing pieces. Next, I have some books to share with you guys, which is quite random because usually I'm either doing beauty or fashion haul related videos, but this time I have a grip hold of books that I stumble across at the Dollar Tree for only a dollar each. Initially, I came back with two books to start my reading journey during this quarantine period, and I thought to just try two books for now to see if I will rekindle my past love for reading. So I started off with this one. It's called Summer Days and Summer Nights, 12 Love Stories, edited by Stephanie Perkins. If you are an avid book reader, then you will recognize the author Stephanie Perkins. She wrote Annie and the French Kiss as well as Isla and the Happy Ever After, which I read both of those novels before they're young adult novels. I think I've read them in the past. It was very vague and surprisingly when I read her short story in this book, I ended up loving it the most out of all the 12 short stories and I was not even halfway through this. When it sparked a chain effect, I went back to Dollar Tree and this happened. I got more books. I think there's at least um how many books are there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so i got 13 books for only 13 dollars from the dollar tree and i secretly want to build a little bookshelf book library in my own place in the near future and that's a wrap for this haul i hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys next week bye So long, 